Crafty Crafty, please do hit that subscribe button below and make sure that you also click on the little bell to turn your notifications on. It will let you know every time I upload a new tutorial. It's completely free to subscribe and it's well worth doing. So today we're going to look at different ways in which you can heat foil. So we're going to be using a laser printer, we're going to be using a laminator. My laser printer is a Samsung one, it cost me about 50 to 60 pounds and then my laminator was just a really cheap one, it was about like 10, 12 pounds. And I'm also going to be using my inkjet printer as well. And we're going to look at how we can create several different variations of foiling. So we've got foiling with some black writing. We've got a multicolored foil. We've got a full foil. We've got foil and a colored image. And we've got a foiled image as well. Now I'm using these deco foils. I find them really easy to work with. I've got a gold, a rainbow, I've got a amethyst watercolour and a rose gold as well. So we're going to start with the full foil. So I've already got my design here. You can see it is a cut. Now you've got two options. I'm not going to actually use the print and cut today. I'm just going to do a print and then I'm going to trim it myself. But if you wanted to do it as a print and cut, you would need a white square. You would then need to position it. You can then highlight and you can then flatten. I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to unflatten. I'm going to hide the white square and you can see that it's already changed to a print. So if you start with a cut, you can then bring it over and you can just turn it to a print. We're then going to go to make it. We're then going to go to continue. We're then going to send to printer. Now I'm going to send mine to my Samsung laser printer. It's really important that you are using a laser printer when you're doing foiling. And I'm going to turn my bleed off. I'm then going to go to advanced options. And you then want to go to preferences and then paper. It's really, really important that you make sure that your output size is the same size as your paper. If you don't, you're going to end up with a really small print and it won't be where you want it to be either. So do make sure that before you send it to your laser printer, that you're making sure that the scale is correct. So either the scale or the output size is correct to your size of paper or card. We're then going to click OK and we can then press print. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim all the way around because I'm not doing it as a print and cut today. So you can see I've got my piece of card with my laser printed wording and I've also got an A4 sheet of paper which I've folded. I'm going to place my card inside it. I've already got some of my rainbow deco foil which I've pre-cut. I'm going to place that on top of my laser print and I'm then going to fold my paper over it. I've then got my laminator here and I'm going to place my folded paper with my laser print and my deco foil in it and I'm going to make sure that I place it in on the fold. And you can see it's then feeding all the way through. Okay. 
I'm then going to feed it through for a second time. We can then open it up and I'm going to leave that to cool down for about a minute. Once it's cooled down I can then peel away my foil. You can then cut around the foil that's not been used and you can use that at a later date. And you can then see we've got a lovely rainbow foil effect. So next up we're going to do again a laser print but this time we're going to do it with different foils. So we're going to have it multicoloured. So I have already gone in and obviously done what I've wanted and I've sized it as well. It is worth noting that when you're doing a print, the largest size that you can do is 9.25 by 6.75 inches. You cannot go any larger than that. Again, I'm not going to do it as a print and cut. I'm just going to do it as a print. So I've already attached or welded everything. I've welded everything, but you can attach it. And I'm just going to come in and change it from a cut to a print. I'm going to send to printer. I'm going to turn my bleed off. I'm going to send it to my laser printer. I'm going to go to advanced options. I just want to make sure that it has saved. So I'm going to go to last use settings and go to paper and make sure that the settings are all the same and press OK. And I can then print. So you can see that I've got my print out and I've already placed it on my paper and all I've done is I've added my different foils onto my corresponding areas and you can overlap that's fine we've almost tried to go for an ombre effect here but if it overlaps pieces it's not a problem because it's only going to pick up the colour of foil that's directly on it. And again, we're just going to place into our laminator on the fold line. And it's then going to pass itself through. We're then going to go in for a second time. We're then going to leave that to cool down for a minute. You've then got a beautiful multicoloured foil. So let's say you want some of the lines in foil, but you want some of them in black. The problem with that is if you print it all with your laser printer and you then add your foil and you put it through the laminator, if any of the foil is touching any of the pieces that you don't want foiled, the foil is going to transfer. So this is where our inkjet printer comes into it. And this is where you're going to use both printers. So the first thing you're going to do is obviously make sure you're happy with your design. And we're then going to grab a shape, which is going to grab a square. And you're going to change the color of it to white. And then we just want to click it and arrange and move to back. We're then going to get it and we're just going to unlock it and size it. We can then lock the square and we're then going to size up everything now. So whatever your size you want, now's the time to do it. And you're just going to leave it as it is for a second. We're then going to highlight and we're going to duplicate it. So we're just going to bring the duplicate over here. On this one, I'm going to keep the pieces that I want foiled. So I'm going to come in and remove the pieces that I want left black. So I'm going to remove that one and I'm going to remove that one. And then on this one, I'm going to remove the foil pieces. 
And I'm then going to come in and I'm going to flatten this one. And I'm going to flatten this one. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and cut them through the machine, but I am going to leave them like this. So I'm then going to go to make it. So you can see both our print and cut files. So we're going to go to continue. So with my laser one, I'm going to send it to my laser printer. So you can see here. And with this one, which I don't want any foil on, I'm going to send it to my inkjet printer. Now you do want to make sure that when you're putting it in your laser printer, having already printed on your inkjet printer, that you are putting it in the right way. So I'm going to come in and cut my foil. I'm using rainbow, rose gold and gold. And if it goes over the inkjet piece, it's fine. It doesn't matter because it will not pick it up. We can then close up our folded piece of paper. We can then place it into our laminator on the fold. And we can then put it through a second time. We then want to leave that to cool down for a minute. We can then come in and start peeling. If you find you've got any lumps of foil, just go in with a very soft, very fluffy brush and just gently brush them away. So the next and the last one we're going to do is a coloured image with some foiling. And you could do a foiled image with some coloured writing, you could do a foiled image. It's completely up to yourself. So I've already got my white background, I've got my coloured image and I've got my text as well which I've welded. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to duplicate and I'm just going to bring it over here. I'm going to remove the writing on this one and then I'm going to remove the image on this one. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to flatten both of them. Again, I'm just going to manually cut them. The thing with doing it with two printers is that your lines may or may not line up slightly. So your print and cut registration marks may or may not line up. I've had it where they're just slightly out of sync and your machine will not register them. So you have to be ready to be able to cut this by hand, whether you're going to use a uh, paper trimmer or you're going to cut them by scissors. So next we're going to go to make it. And you can see we've got our two print and cuts here. So we're then going to go to continue. So with this one, I'm going to send it to my inkjet printer. And with this one, I'm going to send it to my laser printer. Again, you want to make sure when placing your printed inkjet image into your laser printer that you place it the correct way round. So I just wanted you to see that when you are working with two printers, you can get a little bit out of sync and you do need to be aware that that can happen. So you can see we've got our colour printout and we've also got our laser printout as well. So I'm just going to cut a piece of rose gold foil. I'm going to place it into my folded A4 sheet. And I'm then going to place it into my laminator again along the folded edge. And again we're going to put it in for a second time. 
We can then come in and gently peel. And that is how you do several different ways of foiling.